fellow Marketing Blabs listeners. Today I'm here to record a short with Matt and today we're going to talk about AI and how to use it safely for SEO. So we're in our new pod room, Matt. Yeah, looks nice. Nicely decorated. Yeah, who did that? I don't know. Kudos to whoever it was though. (laughs) Charlie, wasn't it? Yeah, I think Shazza did it all to be fair. (laughs) Um, so what you got to say about AI and SEO then? I think it's one of those things, AI is obviously taking over the tech world and people are using it for so many different uh, efficiency gains, if you like. The problem is from an SEO perspective, one of the most common efficiency gains is just using it to produce content. The problem with that is it's very risky. You can spot it from a mile away. No doubt over time, search engines will also start to despise it because it just you can produce content almost too quickly. makes it very difficult for search engines to crawl, scale, understand. So our recommendation would be absolutely not to use it to create content. However, it can be used for some other things. So, for example, briefing. If you're thinking about a blog post, you could put your ideas into, into an AI, chat and GPT or, or another AI and you could ask it how you can improve the content. You could ask it to produce a brief. You could ask it whether you think you're answering all the the questions that you think readers might want answered by reading it. You could ask it for FAQs. You know, there's loads of things you could ask it to do without actually producing the content. And you could do the same thing as well with things like keyword research. So once you've done your research, you could pump it into AI and ask it, if you think, or if it, if it thinks you, that it could be improved in various ways, or maybe even clustering keywords together. If you import a collection of keywords that you've already researched, you could say, can you group these together so, so you can decide which pages they should go on. So it can be used in lots of different ways. However, one of those ways isn't to produce content. Nice. So avoid like over-reliance on it to actually getting you to create the content, oh, sorry, getting AI to create the content and uh, more for ideas, I guess. Yeah, ideation, efficiencies, but not actual production. Nice. Good short. Yeah. First short in the newly decorated pod room. Rate it out of 10. At the moment, 9. When the furniture arrives, definitely 10. Nice. I'm happy. Me too. So, thank you everyone for listening, and we'll see you next time.